So as if 2020 hasn't been one of the weirdest years of all time already, it's pretty uh, it's pretty weird to tell you guys this, but uh, apparently the Galactic Federation is out there, man, and they know we're here, so... So, like, this whole concept of a Galactic Federation, right, has been, like, the heart of sci-fi movies for decades, you know, from Star Wars to Star Trek, things like that. The idea of, like, galactic empires and people exploring, you know, the cosmos... It's, it's been huge, right? And it's been something that humanity has really kind of been infatuated with. That's why we're, you know, trying to go to Mars and build a, a moon base and stuff like that, right? So this is all according to a retired Israeli general and current professor by the name of Haim Ashed. He has made the claim basically that the United States and Israel have made contact with aliens and have developed a what seems to be advanced dialogue with them. And that they've become aware of a galactic federation that exists, aka, you know, just a bunch of aliens doing their thing, just kind of rocking out, I guess. But it's all been a kept it's all been kept a secret from the public because humanity is not ready. Now to qualify his statement in speaking in an interview to Yedoit Aharonat, I believe is how you say that. I don't know. I don't know how to speak what I would assume to be Hebrew. Uh Ashed served as the head of Israeli space security program for nearly 30 years and is a three-time recipient of the Israel Security Award. He makes the claim that the U.S. and Israel have been aware of the presence of this galactic federation and aliens for years at this point, but it's being kept a secret from the public. This man is 87 years old, I want to add. Uh, he gave descriptions about what sort of agreements have apparently been made between aliens and the United States, which I guess the U.S. made because they want to understand, quote, the fabric of the universe. Uh, the cooperation apparently includes a secret underground base on Mars where there are both American and alien representatives. Now, according to the Jerusalem Post, if true, this would coincide with the President Donald Trump's creation of the Space Force as the fifth branch of the United States Armed Forces, but it is apparently unclear how long this sort of relationship, if any, has been going on between the U.S. and reported extraterrestrial allies. Ished insists that Donald Trump is aware of the aliens' presence and that he was, quote, on the verge of disclosing their existence and that the Galactic Federation reportedly stopped him from doing so, saying that they wished to prevent mass hysteria since they felt humanity needed to, quote, evolve and reach a space, uh, a stage where we will understand where space and spaceships are. All right, let, let's kind of break this all down, because this is a lot to unpack. Now, personally, I believe in aliens, right? Like, I think that the the mathematical odds are so improbable that we are the only life not only in like our remote area of the universe, but in the universe in general is so fucking low that like it's unfathomable to believe that there's not other aliens or like other life forms out there. Because if you think about it, we are the aliens to these people. And if any group of people on the planet is going to know about it, it's going to be the United States government. They, I mean, the U.S. is the single biggest military and economic power on the planet, the cultural power of the planet for the most part as well. The United States is, like, really kind of like the top dog, if you think about it. And, I mean, it was kind of out of the blue that Trump created the Space Force, right? Because, like, you know, we went to, we went to the moon last century, and it wasn't even, like, a, a process of creating a military branch for space until now. But also, you have to think, with humans, like, trying to get to Mars within the next 20 years and establish a colony there, with NASA's Artemis project and stuff talking about building a lunar base on the moon for future trips farther out into the solar system, these kinds of things would probably become necessary anyway, because other countries, you know, they're going to try and do things too, and the U.S. is going to want to protect its assets. So, like, with that in mind, that's not really too hard to believe. But knowing Trump, I just feel like he would have already disclosed this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think Trump would give a fuck if the aliens said no, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Trump is known for his boisterous behavior and just saying things that he should not be saying. I mean, we're talking about a president that quite literally said he'd square Joe Biden's ass up and make him go down hard and fast. So it's like, bro... You know, I, I feel like if anyone on planet Earth is disclosing the Galactic Federation to the public, it's Donald Trump, dog. And like at this point, my man's got nothing to lose, right? Like he's out of office in about a month. So it's like, bro, I, I don't know. I feel like he would have already been telling everybody. I feel like we'd have a tweet, you know what I'm saying? Three million likes and, and shit like that. So I also do want to add, though, this guy is 87 years old. I, I don't know if maybe he's having... Like, mental problems. I know some older people, like, as they age and they get, like, dementia and things like that, right? Which become increasingly likely as you age. You know, they just start saying some off-the-wall shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had relatives who, man, once they reach a certain age, like, you know, they talk to the fucking wall. 
And they just say, like, reckless shit. They just say random people's names and give them backstories. Like, you know, it happens, bro. Now, I'm not saying that is what is happening here, but, like, I think that the chances that something like that could have happened are definitely there, right? It's not completely improbable and unlikely, but... I mean, he also was in a pretty big position of power for a situation like this as well. It's not like he has no credibility whatsoever. Now, Ashed was asked basically why he's chosen to reveal this information now. He said that the timing was due to how much the academic landscape has changed and how respected he is in academia. He was quoted as saying if he had come up with what he had said today, five years ago, he would have been hospitalized. Now, you gotta consider this, right? It's like, he just got done saying that the fucking aliens don't want the public to know because they don't think that people are ready. And then he comes out and makes a public statement. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that doesn't really make any sense. That's a horrible concept, right? Because, like, in all reality, bro, if the aliens asked me, like, President Optimus to keep it a secret, I'm cool with that, right? Because, like, I already know how people are. Like, the aliens clearly probably have a better fundamental understanding of us than we do. Like, if they're this advanced to the point that they've got a fucking galactic federation, you know what I'm saying? Like, they understand how people are gonna work. Like, if my fucking 3,000 generations away from being a literal fucking monkey in the forest ass is out here, like, yeah, maybe the aliens are right on this one and we shouldn't tell people, then the fucking aliens, bro, with all their technology and understanding of everything, they probably really know what's going on, right? And I mean, they're really not that far off from what I expect, right? Because, like, if the aliens are right on this one, they're really right, because people are fucking goofy, dude. Like, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty, bro. If, I, I don't know, let's say I got an emergency alert on my phone, they're like, hey, tune into the news station. I tune on that shit, and you know, Trump comes out crip walking, and he's got, like, four alien representatives with him. They're, like, throwing up their set and shit. They got, like, the alien flags with the U.S. flag. They're out there, like, signing peace deals, talking about, like, Earth is now in the Federation and shit. Aliens about to give us that iPad 4887, that PS94. Like, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be like, oh, cool, like, everything I suspected this whole time is true, and while it's a jolt to my reality, I understand fundamentally that these aliens could eliminate me and my whole species at any time that they wanted, so really caring that deeply doesn't make that much sense. I'm just gonna go play Minecraft, right? But, I mean, we're also talking about the same fucking creatures that when a global pandemic broke down, the first thing they did was buy $7,000 worth of toilet paper to stuff in their bathrooms. Like, it really starts to make sense why they don't want us knowing, you know? Like, we're the same group of fucking creatures running around starting fucking riots over the result of a soccer game, burning down cities because of it, and you guys think we're ready for a 400 alien species deep federation to come up to us like, yo, bro, is Earth trying to join the Galactic Federation? You know, like humans trying to get on that cool shit, bro? Dude, I, I understand all or already what would happen. People would be in the streets freaking the fuck out, crying. They'd be jumping off buildings, killing themselves. They'd be, and then there, there'd also be the group of people like me on there just posting fucking memes like, when you get your first piece of alien pussy and it's like poggers or something like that, bro. Like, that would be me, you know what I'm saying? But then you'd have, once again, the people in the street fucking screaming and crying and like once again like burning their cars and like eating Tide Pods and drinking bleach again and shit like you know that would happen that's the thing and as sad as that is to say like that is just that's the reality that we live in bro I don't know how the aliens react to crazy shit I don't know if they got their Glee Glorb game going on and they you know they riot or whatever I have no clue maybe that's just an instinctive nature of intelligent species they just act fucking stupid sometimes but bro like if they're looking at us like meh you know, <laughs> ooh, they're kind of fucking idiotic. Don't tell them. I'm not surprised. Now, do I believe this guy with what he's saying? Honestly, not really. Like, I believe that there is a galactic federation out there, probably. Like, there, there's almost certainly other alien species out there. Like, I believe in that shit, bro. Like, if, if aliens are out here flying their No Man's Sky freighter, I'm not surprised. But do I believe that, like, the U.S. and Israel of all countries are the places that have contact with them? Like, let's keep it a buck fifty here. There's a lot more countries out there that I would think would have contact with aliens before fucking Israel, bro. If I'm thinking, like, countries with contact with aliens, like, the U.S., the U.K., Russia, China, Japan, Australia, Brazil, you know what I'm saying? Those are the countries I'm thinking of. I'm not thinking of fucking Israel as the country that's out here talking to aliens with the U.S., bro. Like, no disrespect to the fellas over there in Jerusalem or anything, man, but, like, bro, there's just, like, more countries that I would see in front of them in the line of, like, hey, let's talk to the aliens, you know? So, with that being said, man, if if the aliens do end up showing up tomorrow and revealing themselves, can we not act fucking stupid? Like, I, I, I'm i gonna keep it a buck here. I'm really trying to be the first human to be in some alien walls, bro. 
Like, I'm just saying, you know, there's some bad bitches here on Earth, and it, it's cool, right? Like, it, aliens might be ugly or whatever, but bro, like, I'm just trying to feel what it's like. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be up in some alien guts ASAP. Yo, any alien bitches watching this video, man, hit me up on Twitter, at sub to Optimus. Make a burner account or something, bro, because, like, for real, we can make something work. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus talking to the Alien Galactic Federation and signing out.